Okay, so this is part one of the complex ion lab here. Um, we are actually investigating the effect of changing oxidation state, in this case here for the example for iron. Uh, the lab manner actually calls for iron 2 nitrate. Uh, we're actually going to substitute that in this demo here with iron 2 chloride. Uh, it's just still going to give you the similar uh, common ion of iron 2 plus. Uh, we're going to start off here with this as a solid. We're going to dissolve it in a little bit of water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add hydrogen peroxide. Uh, this one here is an oxidizing agent. Uh, it'll actually oxidize the iron from the plus 2 form to the plus 3 form. So just let me demonstrate that for you here. This one here is iron 2 chloride. Just going to scoop a little bit of this. I don't need a whole lot. I'm going to scoop it here into this test tube. Uh, by adding a little bit of water to this here, I should be able to dissolve a good amount of it here. You notice that the solid itself was already fairly orange um, uh, by itself, so it's about half filled now. I'm going to use a glass stir rod here so I can mash up some of the powder. Uh, make sure when you're mashing things inside a test tube you don't poke too hard. Sometimes uh, people actually poke straight through the test tube and that's not what we want here. So try to dissolve uh, some of the iron 2 plus. The iron 2 plus is actually being complex with the water. Okay. So we actually form the hexa aqua iron 2 ion ready. And then what we're going to do, as I mentioned here, is we're going to take uh, hydrogen peroxide. So this is H2O2. Uh, this one here is going to hopefully oxidize the iron plus 2 to the plus 3 state here. Uh, hopefully we can make an observation of the before and after here. So, so far it's the iron 2 uh, complex ion. I'm just going to slowly add the hydrogen peroxide. Okay. You notice right away there's a color change. You notice right away there's some bubbling involved here as well. So all that's changing here is the hydrogen peroxide is actually oxidizing the iron from the plus two state to the plus, plus three state. Now we'll just make some observations there. Okay, add a little bit more as well. Uh, see if it makes any difference. Okay. But once everything is in the uh, plus three uh, oxidation state here, uh, the reaction should be done. Again, iron plus three is also a transition metal uh, ion here. It gets complex by uh, water in a very similar fashion, but you definitely see uh, the different colors when it was just iron two, uh, and now it's a much deeper uh, color for iron three. 